sick of your already cast steering post wiggling around? Well, today we're going to be installing our anti slop steering post bushings for both the upper steering shaft and the lower one, which is you can't see here, but we'll show you here shortly. All right, well, here's a comparison of the BDX steering post bushing, which is the one on the left here versus the stock one. Um, the BDX one is just simply wider. You can see how this one has a step on it on each side versus the BDX one uh, doesn't have a step, so there's just more surface area on the shaft itself. And then on the upper one, you can see how the stock one's angled versus the BDX one is full height. Um, so there's just that much more surface area. And if you look close at the bottom of the stock one, it's tapered. It's actually only getting a very short area of the bushing that is touching the shaft um, versus the BDX one's virtually double the height. And then just in general, it's a tighter fit. Um, you know, this, the stock one um, just gets really sloppy side to side. It's just the, this area is just too narrow and will move back and forth very easy versus the BDX one doesn't. And not only that, but the BDX one's got this clip on top to hold everything tight. So today we're gonna to be replacing both the upper steering post bushing and then also the upper bushing for the lower shaft. The Arctic Cat Mountain Sleds have, and the High Countries have, two steering shafts. Uh, there's the upper and then the, the lower shaft. So, but we're gonna replace both bushings today and get rid of the slop. So we're doing a few things. We already got the seat off. You can see we just loosened up the one bolt on each side, removed the seat, and then there's four screws with a cowl. So you can see this cowl is loose. Uh, we've already taken the handlebars off. It's obviously just to loosen up the clamps in the bottom here. Taking the handlebars off, and then we gotta take the uh, recall rope out. You can see we just put a clamp on the rope on under the motor there to hold the rope from sucking in the recoil. So that is all removed. So our objective right now is to remove this whole steering post mount. Exhaust springs have already been removed from the manifold of the pipe. Pipe points right out. Pull the pipe out away. Post comes. Clip is removed. 
friction comes out from the top. All right, Bree's gonna put some grease into the anti-slap steering post bushing on the inside. That's just a weight lithium grease. Not about any grease would work. High temp or low temp. So with a little force, that bottom clip is back into place, and then he'll put the clip on the top side. Which is a spare clip. So you're gonna have to take a little time to get that spiral clip on. Just you know, start it from the bottom, work your way around. Once the spiral clip is on, then we'll go to the other steering support bushing, the anti-slap, by just simply pressing it on. What more shaft fits in the crossbar there. And you see the new anti-slap bushing in place both the upper and the lower. as tight as a powder pin that goes in there. Getting the top two center bolts started. in place on the two nuts that hold the anti-slap anti in place. So take notice when you tighten the, the anti-slap string block down you tighten it tight first, that sucks everything down tight to the mount, then backed off the nuts, and then just snug after that. They are locking nuts, but you don't want to make sure you don't over tighten them. Then just reassemble. Rear spars go back in place. The steering post mount is in place, the spars are tight. Time to get the cowl back on, run the recoil rope back through. And obviously once your recoil rope is back in the handle, make sure you loosen up your clamp. So the new anti-slop bushing has a spot for the zip tie to go through and go around the cable hold it in place. Make sure you don't over tighten it. You don't need to you know, leave a little bit of slop in there for the cable to move. But that's what will hold it in place after you've got the steering post. Or excuse me, handlebars back on the steering post. Up 
pipe sensor. Muffler springs. Manifold springs. Slide the seat back into place. Tuck in the tabs. And then one bolt on each side. And now you can see that the anti-slop steering bushing has been installed on the lower shaft. Cable tie in place. And then the new upper steering shaft. Uh, obviously you can see the wobble is very minimal now. So uh, the strength and durability of this bushing is much better than the stock bushing. It'll last much longer. Uh, this is a great option for all RDCAT models 2012 to 2020. Uh, for more information, please go to our website which is uh, bd-extreme.com. We can also go to uh, speedshopinc.com. Thank you.